Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. What do all these animals have in common? They all belong to the phylum Chordata. Most people describe chordates as having a backbone. Technically, all chordates have a notochord, which is a primitive backbone. In some chordates, like the lamprey, the notochord remains there for life. In vertebrates, such as humans and mammals, a more complex backbone appears. Chordates also have a nerve cord. There are several types of chordates, but most can be classified as chordates who have jaws. Most people are familiar with these. Up first are fish. Most fish breathe with gills and have scales that cover their bodies. Fish are exothermic or cold-blooded. Let's look at two types, the cartilaginous fish, examples are sharks and rays, and they have bones made out of a flexible material called cartilage. Let's take a look at some. Another type of fish are bony fishes. Examples are goldfish and trout, and they have bones similar to ours. Next are reptiles. They have scaly skin, produced with a shelled egg. They fertilize their eggs internally, and many have at least one lung. Next are amphibians. Amphibians have smooth, slimy skin, and some fertilize eggs externally, some internally, and many can breathe through their skins and have lungs. or warm-blooded. They have hair on their bodies, produce milk to feed their babies, and produce their offspring internally. The aves or birds. Birds have feathers, they have wings, but not all birds fly, have beaks or bills, and all birds lay eggs. It helps with your understanding of the phylum Chordata. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.